Hey guys, Dr. Shane here. And Courtney. We're uh, just making a video for you guys. We know we do have a small portion of our practice members that are at home um, and they may be immune compromised and they're not able to come in, unfortunately. Um, it's always our top priority to make sure our practice members are uh, functioning at their highest capability, their nervous systems are functioning, which in turn allows your immune system to function um, and things along those lines. But feeling matters as well. So we're gonna give you some stretches. Courtney's gonna talk about that. Yeah, with that being said, um, like Dr. Shane said, always our priority to make sure that you guys are functioning really well. However, um, some of these stretches that we're gonna go over today are really good for helping to keep you guys flexible, mobile, and to alleviate some of the tension that you might be feeling in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, so as always, uh, you know, stretching and things along those lines are definitely not a substitute for a very specific uh, chiropractic adjustment. However, times like these, we definitely want you feeling well. And, um, you know, so we're just gonna go over a few of those things to help alleviate some of that tension at home, all right? So I'm gonna do a few low back ones for you first, and then Courtney's gonna go ahead and give you some neck and upper back uh, stretches, all right? So, first one uh, that I'm gonna go over, and you know, some of you guys I may have given you a few of these already. Um, so this is just a little refresher for you. So first one is gonna be a um, one leg uh, pull. So basically what you're gonna do is lay flat on your back and you're just gonna pull your leg up. Pull it up, pull it up to where you can grab your knee, lock your hands around there, and you really feel the tension relief in your low back and some of that, take some of that pressure off of your discs. So you're gonna do that on both sides. Rule of thumb, uh, most of these sweat stretches are gonna be uh, 12 to 15 seconds, okay? So use that as your rule of thumb. You can do a few different sets of them if you'd like. Uh, the second stretch is just gonna be two legs, right? So usually your heels click with this, but both legs just pull up and you can feel that relief of pressure right on those discs in the low back, right in the center of the low back, all right? Now, next stretch that we are gonna do is uh, the one leg crossover. So I've talked about this one with you guys. I'm gonna give you a couple different versions of it, okay? So, one leg crossover, you're gonna bring one leg over. So right now I have my right leg over and you can take your left hand, put it right on your stomach and just allow that to stretch right along here in your low back and your lumbar spine, okay? Hold that 10 to 15 seconds and then you're just gonna cross over, all right? You can bring this arm back for stability and really keep that upper back. Try to keep that as flat on the floor as you can. You can feel that stretch in the low back, all right? Now the next stretch is low back and piriformis related. So a lot of times with sciatic pain um, and things along those lines, there's pressure because of misalignments on the nerves in the low back, but the piriformis muscle does not help that sciatic uh, nerve. So the looser that is, uh, the better your sciatic will feel while we're adjusting you. So with that said, first one for sciatic is just going to be a one leg crossover. Okay. Uh, so bring one leg across the opposite arm, hug that knee. I have this hand back for stability and you just pull, pull that knee across your body a little bit. Right? So with this, I have my Left leg crossed over, my right arm hugging that left leg, and my left hand back for stability. So you can feel that right here, and that's where your piriformis muscle is, right deep to your glutes, okay? Same deal on the other side. You'll feel it, it'll pull like a rope, like feeling. Um, that's what you really, really want. That actually feels really good. So <laughs> we're gonna um, do the hybrid version that I give to a lot of you guys. This one, you feel the pull a little bit deeper, um, but with that said, it definitely loosens the muscle a little bit more, right? So I'm gonna have you lay flat on your back, bring one leg up, and you're gonna cross it over a little bit. Now, you're not gonna go all the way across like we did with the low back stretch. You're gonna leave it suspended and pull with the opposite hand. With that said, my shoulders are square, they're flat on the floor, and I'm feeling that deeper pull right here in my piriformis muscle. Same deal with the other side, pull across, and I'm feeling that deep pull right back here. 
Um, when the piriformis is tight, it makes the whole pelvic cavity tight, makes your body compensate, which you know you guys are familiar with. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that's loose. I'm going to give you two more. The next two are pretty easy. One's lateral flexion. So um, with that said, one hand behind you, other hand straight in the air. I'm just going to flex to the side, right? I'm not twisting. I'm not uh, flexing forward. We're just flexing laterally, just like this, right? So we're going to feel those muscles that are lateral to the lumbar spine a little bit further out, stretching a little bit. Dr. Shane didn't do his stretches this morning, so I'm getting it in now. Um, all right, last one you're gonna do is a hamstring stretch. Um, now with the hamstrings, you know, some of you might think, well, that's, you know, isn't that your legs? Um, when your hamstrings are tight, it makes your entire spine compensate, and it definitely can cause low back pain. So with that, your legs um, in a V-shape, we're gonna bring one in, bend the knee, and just have that foot flat to your other leg, all right? With that, I'm holding this ankle, holding my right leg ankle with my right arm, and just coming forward. Point that toe back at yourself, and you can feel that hamstring. Now you can lean forward a little bit. I would advise you not to lean forward too much. We don't want to flex too much. If any of these cause you pain, rule of thumb, stop. All right, take a lot of caution as far as that goes. We don't want pain. We know the difference between a burn of a stretch and pain, right? If there's sharp pain, we don't want to do that. We don't want to continue the stretch. All right, so those were the low back muscle stretches. Uh, Courtney's going to go ahead and show you guys some neck and upper back stretches. Perfect. So as Dr. Shane mentioned, I'm going to be going ahead and getting started with some neck stretches today. So I'm actually going to grab this chair over here. Um, thank you. All right, perfect. So yes, when we're getting started with the neck, um, the first one that we're gonna get started with is the anterior neck stretch. Anterior meaning the front. So if we are going to stretch the anterior left side of the neck, what you're going to do is take your right hand, so the opposite hand from the side of the neck that you're trying to stretch, and you're gonna place it on that shoulder of the side of the neck, okay? So left side, right hand on this left shoulder here. What you're gonna do is tuck your chin back, just like this, and then you're gonna turn your head just a bit so that your ear is gonna line up with the shoulder, okay? And you're, just until you feel that stretch kind of going through the front side of that left neck, okay? And you're gonna hold that for about 15 seconds. And then when you're gonna do the other side, same thing, just opposite. So right side of the neck, you're gonna take your left shoulder. All right, tuck that chin, just as I described before. And you're gonna just feel that nice stretch going through the front of the neck. All right, so each of those you're gonna hold for about 15 seconds. Now the next would be the posterior neck stretch. Posterior meaning back or behind, okay? So with that, it's gonna be very similar to the anterior. You're gonna take, if we're doing the left side, you're gonna take your right hand, but this time we're actually gonna do the head instead of putting it on the shoulder, all right? So you're gonna take your hand right here, all right? You're gonna put your head down just a bit, and you're not gonna pull your head, you're just gonna let the weight of your hand Kind of press down and you're going to feel that stretch going through the back right over here and same thing you're going to hold that for about 15 seconds and repeat when it comes to the other side top of the head like i said tuck down and just feel that nice stretch going through right back here awesome all right so each of those for about 15 seconds um the next one that we would go into is going to be shoulder rolls and these are an oldie but a goodie uh, they're a classic so with the shoulder roll Sit up nice and straight like this, right? And then we're just gonna roll the shoulders forward and then you're gonna roll them back. And that's gonna be one little rip right there of the stretch, okay? You're gonna repeat this 15 times and you're gonna feel a lot of nice tension relief going on right in this shoulder and even come to the trap area as well, okay? So repeat that 15 times. The next thing that we go into is gonna be the you're gonna put your arms behind your back and this is gonna stretch the pec area, okay? Um, and with that, I know we're talking about the neck and the upper back a lot, um, so you might be wondering why are we gonna stretch those you know, chest and pec muscles? Now all these muscles connect. So if you're having a ton of tension in the chest, that's not gonna help the neck tension as well, right? So what you're gonna do is take your arms, put them behind your back like this, and you're just gonna pull until you'll feel a nice light stretch going on throughout the chest. 
You're gonna hold that, just like the other ones, for 15 seconds. All right, feels really nice. I also did not get my stretches on this morning, so this is uh, going well for both Dr. Chan and I. Um, and for this, we're actually gonna go right into the upper back stretch. Uh, with this, I actually need a door frame, so what I'm working with right now isn't gonna work for that. So we're gonna just change views a little bit and head over the front door. All right, so for this upper back stretch, you are gonna grab each side of the door frame. Now for me, someone who is uh, five feet tall, this area is working just fine for me. If you're a little bit taller, you might wanna go with a door frame that's a little bit wider. Um, but either way, you're gonna take both of your hands, you're gonna place it on the door frame, and you're just gonna lean your body back until you'll feel that nice stretch going on throughout your upper back, okay? So you're gonna be just a little bit rounded with your back, all right? And just feel that nice stretch going on throughout the upper back area, relieving some of that tension and hold that for 15 seconds, just like the others. All right, and then the next one is actually going to be another pec stretch. Again, all these muscles connect, so we really wanna make sure that we're relieving tension from here and throughout all the other muscles that come together. Um, so for this stretch, you're gonna put your hands on each side of the door frame, all right? And then you are just going to go ahead and lean your chest forward, all right, until you feel it stretching. You don't wanna go too far, you just wanna feel until you feel a stretch, okay? And you're gonna feel that going on throughout the pec, um, even kind of on the front of your shoulders as well. So you'll feel that nice tension relief and hold that for 15 seconds. You're gonna wait until that car gets by, it's a little loud, uh, <laughs> but yes, like I said, hold for 15 seconds. All right, so feeling nice and relaxed. And let me close this real quick. Right. All right, guys. So we really hope that these stretches are going to help you guys at home. Uh, as always, you know, stay positive at home. Be grateful for uh, the time, you know, that this is providing us. Uh, we will get through this madness. You know, this is the time to be grateful and come together. You know, let's not be negative, right? We always, me and Courtney always talk about, we're trying to be overwhelmingly positive. Um, so let's keep that in mind. Be careful with these stretches. Uh, you know, we really hope they help, but give us a call if you have any questions at all. We can't wait to see you guys back in the office. All Thank right? you guys so we'll much. See you.